Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Yes, and you're gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? I'm not sexually active right now. I've just not, uh, I've chosen not to engage. Doesn't that make you gay? What's up guys, your boy Benny. A very wise man once said, you are the average of your five best friends. And I think that's a very true quote. And what it really belies is that you should really choose who you hang out with carefully because it will reflect either positively or poorly on you. You'll become those people. So if you choose to be an upward achiever, if you choose to be a moral person, you hang out with moral people. If you choose to be somebody uh, who has a lot of wealth, right? If that's who you want to be, you, you end up hanging out at the country club, right? Uh, or if you want to be a gangbanger, right? You, you know where to find people. And so you do become the people you hang out with and you do choose your friends and who you wish to hang out with. And so uh, it's sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy and it says a lot about you yourself. And uh, I, while I find that quote to be very true, I also find, obviously, Tucker Carlson to be somebody who speaks the truth all the time. What he says about Barack Obama is that Barack Obama is a deeply creepy person, that he's arguably our creepiest president. And that's saying a lot in the time of Joe Biden. You know, Joe Biden, there's all these videos of Joe Biden sniffing kids and stuff, and everybody thinks that's creepy. And Tucker Carlson says, no, 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 no. The real creep in Washington is Barack Obama. All you have to do is look. And so we decided to use our superpower and just look right? Just peel the onion layer back just a little bit and see like what kind of a person is uh, Barack Obama? Maybe let's go check the kind of people that jo Barack Obama wants to hang out with. Like who are the people that the Obamas naturally gravitate towards? They're kind of famously secretive and have very tight-knit close circles, you know, only only yachts in Greece with Tom Hanks. <laughs> Those are the only kind of people they wish to hang out with. Uh, along with, of course, well, Harvey Weinstein here. Here's uh, Michelle Obama praising Harvey Weinstein as a wonderful human being, a good friend, and a powerhouse at a women's event <laughs> at the White Start House. by thanking Harvey Weinstein for organizing mm. this amazing day. Mm. So amazing. Harvey. This is possible because of Harvey. Uh, he is a wonderful human being, a just wonderful. good friend, and uh, just a powerhouse. Friend. And the fact friend. that he and his team took the time to make this happen for all of you should say something not about me or about this place, but about you. All of you all women, right? all you young women. Yes, that's right. You. And you know, what's also very interesting is that Michelle Obama sent her eldest daughter to go work for Harvey Weinstein uh, right after that speech. So it just shows you the timber of their character. It shows you how well they can pick them, if you know what I mean. Remember, according to Michelle Obama, Harvey Weinstein is a wonderful human being who's going to spend the rest of his life in prison for sexual abuse. Got it? Yeah, uh, Michelle Obama also uh, was meddling in the Jesse Smollett case. Of course, Jesse Smollett going to prison for the greatest and largest race hoax of all time. Uh, Jesse Smollett himself, just a psychotic monster. Michelle Obama loves him, though, and views him as like a close bestie. In fact, her top aide was texting the prosecutors in the case to meddle in the Jesse Smollett case. Some want that investigated, says CNN. Ooh. Oh, Michelle Obama's top advisor was working over the grand jury and the district attorney in Chicago in order to try and get Jesse Smollett to skate. Oh man, baby, baby, baby. What uh, what what sort of like creepy stuff surrounds the Obamas? Again, like it was totally weird what happened with Obama's chef. I, again, like all we can say is that it was like nothing makes sense about this, right? You can hear the dramatic 911 calls. They've released some information. They've hidden a bunch of other stuff. But it's very, very strange circumstances. It's all we're going to say. It's all we're going to say. It's, uh, you know, it, it, how, how, you know, you look at the facts of the case and that, that I guess is the question. How? Also, who is the mystery woman that he was out with? Speaking of uh, mystery women, plenty of mystery women hanging around with Diddy. 
now that the feds have raided his house, just a reminder that Diddy and Barack are besties. Tell me that Barack Obama didn't know about uh, Diddy's freakout parties. Tell me. Did he share his photo of Barack Obama in meeting? Shout out to the king. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out to the king. Black excellence, says Diddy in his caption, his photo with Barack Obama. Well, well, well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what does that tell you about the uh, company you keep? Right? You are the average of the five people you hang out with. And now let's go here, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, news from the day. The portrait of Barack Obama uh, that was much criticized for its total and complete goofiness, Barack Obama disappearing into the bushes, the guy who painted that portrait, of course, is hailed as uh, a hero in the artistic community, uh, except for, well, now he's got a little bit of a problem. Obama portrait artist accused of sexual assault by numerous men. Uh-oh. Kendi Wiley is his name, the artist who painted Barack Obama's official portrait, has responded to several men who's accused him of sexual assault. Uh, just a reminder that Harvey Weinstein, the great dude who uh, Michelle Obama praised and let her daughter work for, uh, this guy had like a, there was like a single person, and then there were three people, and then there were 20 people, and then there were like 50 women who came out uh, against Harvey Weinstein. The, the, the nature of the predator is to just keep doing these horrible acts until you're caught, that's how it always works. It's demonic, it's evil, okay? But like, this is the nature of the predator. Uh, in 2021, a Gahanian artist, uh, Joseph Darko, claimed Wiley sexually assaulted him twice on his Instagram. Uh, he wrote, I was sexually assaulted by Kendi Wiley. It almost destroyed me. And, uh, and this guy ha has... Uh, left his accusations on Instagram, but the accusations don't end there. Author Nathaniel Lloyd Richards has come out recently and told Hyperallergenic Magazine that Wiley inappropriately touched and groped him during a date. The response to the allegations, Wiley started stated that he was a victim of a reckless smear campaign. Got it? It's, it's, he's, he's the victim, you know? Oh, boy. Two more people accused uh, Kendi Wiley of sexual assault, starting to lose track here. So this is the guy that Barack Obama praised as recognizing the beauty and grace and dignity of people who are often so invisible. Mm. Well, it seems like uh, the victims here were invisible. Uh, here's Kendi Wiley speaking for himself. I guess invisible no longer. Kendi Wiley speaking for himself, talking about how incredible he is I, I well, you gotta you gotta love you gotta love these people. They're they're so, I mean, pride will be their destruction, right? That's what it says um, in the good book, and it's like so true. Thing to create the official portrait mm. for the first black president of the United States was one of the highlights of your life. I'm assuming. Mm. I'm assuming yes. it's probably going to be on my tombstone. <laughs> mm. okay. I have to say that being the first African American artist to paint. The portrait of the first African American is uh, quite the honor as well. I can oh imagine. yes, uh, it's all about me. And then remember. the question is, how do you make that something that is vibrant? How do you make painting alive in the 21st century? Right, those are big challenges. There must be a lot of pressure that comes mm -hmm. with painting those, those portraits as well, because it, it's not just a portrait for Obama. That's that's a portrait that's supposed to live throughout time. That's right. That's right. In fact, what you have is a situation where it's like no pressure or anything, but this is history. And <laughs> oh yes, I'm I'm history. That's right. Just a reminder. I'm so great. I mean, Barack Obama was president, but remember, it's kind of the painting's kind of about me too, right? Mm, okay. Well, uh, these headlines are about you too, Kendi. Believe ga black gay men? Question mark. Uh, acclaimed artist who did Obama's White House portrait it says man who accused him of sexual assault was a consensual lover. Okay, uh, all right. This is a little interesting, taking quite a turn. Barack Obama's official portrait artist is fighting back against numerous sexual assault accusers. Uh, I don't know exactly what fighting back is. I thought we were, I thought, I thought it was believe all victims, right? Or something like that. Is it different if it's a man? Not exactly sure. Uh, this is the guy who's accusing him of sexual assault. In his post, he writes, uh, to Kindy, I thoroughly invite you to leverage your supposed credibility, your influence, your loyalist, and everything that you have to gag those of us who will come forward. Uh-oh. Because I assure you, you will need it. Ah, uh, yikes. Here's the uh, post. This is the uh, account 
of the accuser, and these are the posts that he put up, and he describes sort of the sexual assault in uh, in great detail. And then he, um, you know, he says that he stands by every single accusation against Kendi Wiley, and uh, this then is this then is Kendi Wiley's. Uh, uh, he tags him right, and um, and then he says here, he says. He says here, I need to set the record straight. False claims made against me. My accusers disturbing allegations are baseless and defamatory. And while I largely stayed silent, I must bring the truth out uh, uh, to the light. Okay. Uh-oh. So he denies the sexual assault. And so I don't know exactly what, you know, I don't know, like, I guess I guess you go to court here, right? Or you, you bring evidence forward. I, I don't like it when people are wrongfully accused, obviously. But, you know, bring forward evidence, receipts, text messages. I mean, surely you'll have those things. Uh, here's hoping I never have to see another hideous Kendi Wiley painting ever again. Uh, these are people who are popping off on social media. Man, get Kendi Wiley out of here, bruh. Well, uh, the company you keep, right? The company you keep. This is what he said uh, during the unveiling of Obama's portrait. I, uh, I was humbled by this uh, invitation. But I was also inspired by uh, Barack Obama's personal story, that sense in which he and I both do have that echo of uh, single parents, uh, African fathers, that search for the father, that sense of twinning. You're twinning with Barack Obama. Okay. Uh, well, you know, no, no need to don't need to dig too far into it to see that. Uh, not really the guy you want to be your twin here, if you are, uh, if you are, Barack, if you're Barack Obama, you don't want this guy saying he's twinning with you. But uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, very interesting stuff. And remember, you are the company you keep, and the Obamas have quite a track record. Holy moly! Uh, it's your boy Benny. Like, share, and subscribe for a lot better artwork than that guy can paint. Uh, in the form of our memes and our cover images around here on this channel. See ya.